Hey guys, Zoid here, back again with another review, and today, kicking off, I suppose, Ghost Rider week, um, I'm not gonna be reviewing all my Ghost Rider figures, uh, just the few that I have that I believe are complete and are actual Ghost Riders, um, this is because I don't have the whole line complete, I wanna have it all complete before I actually do something like that, so maybe these will get some re-reviews down the line, but... At the moment, this is what we got. This is what we're going to do. Uh, my trade with for all the for Alligator to get the better looking Skinner is going to commence here shortly. Probably next month, maybe. And then I'll be on the lookout for uh, the other two Ghost Rider bikes and the um, Outcast figure with the accessories. Probably just buy him MOC and the two uh, Johnny Blaze figures. <clears throat> But we'll get to those another day. But starting off, I guess, Ghost Rider week, and it kind of makes sense, it is Halloween week. Um, today we're going to have a look at the Ghost Rider with Chain Whipping Action. Now this guy has been re-released a few times. Uh, once as this figure, once more with the bike. He was a little bit different. I think his bell was different, and so was the chain. And um, he was re-released re again in the uh, Marvel Universe 1996 series, along with Outcast, actually, which is kind of weird. And, um, again, in the Hearts of Darkness set, but with slight paint differences. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to wind up getting the Hearts of Darkness one eventually. Maybe I'll just buy that stupid set online. Um, I don't know. The tan pants intrigue me, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is the first Ghost Rider figure, I believe. Uh, I think I saw a Mego one, actually, which is kind of crazy, but what are you going to do? Uh, so, you know the drill with me, uh, 90s figures, 5-inch scale. Uh, this is going to probably be the Ghost Rider I use the most in the Gargoyles Ghost Rider movies that I plan on doing eventually. Um, he does actually have some glow-in-the-dark features, too, which we'll try to get into, but first off, let's talk about articulation. Now, articulation on these guys is actually a lot better. i to tell you more about that arm later. Um, he's got a swivel in the head. These in these fire pieces can move individually, but it's hard to do. I'll give you a better look at that head sculpt. That's pretty good for 1995, I believe. Uh, the side flames on mine aren't painted. Some of them they are, some of them they aren't. I don't know if the original one wasn't painted at all, or what the deal is, but I've seen another one like this, so it's not just a screw-up on mine. It's probably supposed to be like that. Then he's got a shoulder articulation, elbow joint, wrist swivel, uh... T-jointed hips, actually, which is pretty sweet, and a hinged knees, so that's probably to get him on the bike. And the glow-in-the-dark belt here. These things are a pain in the butt to put on. They are so hard to just wrap the chain around. It's ridiculous, so be worried about that. But other than that, it looks good from all angles. And yeah, there is a little button here, which I get into. So his accessory, of course, is the silver chain. Well, remove that later. Um, but first is gimmick. His gimmick is chain whipping action. So we're going to just swivel this forward like that. Then we're going to move his arm up. Two more clicks. And uh, watch the magic happen. Uh, I guess i got to do it again. 
So we're going to wind his arm up. That's funny. It's not working. Oh, there we go. Probably be easier to do like this. I can't do it on this set. It's too tiny. I just remove that chain there and actually show you the gimmick when it works. Right, here we go. What the heck, man? Hello, anyone in there? Crazy power on that thing. <laughs> I'll show it to you a couple more times. And once more for good measure. And there you go. So Ghost Rider's chain whipping gimmick works when you have enough space to do it. Personally, I think his chain should have been like linked or something like that, but you know, it's not that big of a deal. So a size comparison. I'm gonna do a couple of them here. No, it's not going to be next to a gargoyles, although that probably would have made the most sense. Let me see, I I have him before. Just chilling out, I can't remember. It takes me more time to adjust the freaking things. But uh, here he is, and here is the next Ghost Rider figure we'll be able to look at. The transforming Ghost Rider, and as you can see, this one's a little taller due to the gimmick. So yeah, but uh, we'll be able to look at him next. We'll get more into that later. So Ghost Rider here, I'm gonna give this figure a 10 out of 10. I don't have a problem with it. I think it's great. I think it's cool. I can dig it. So with that in mind, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the Ghost Rider with Chain Whip in action. It is really cool, and it's really hard to see his face. We'll probably do a video just showing off the glow-in-the-dark features. A standalone video. So, stay tuned for that. And until next time, I will catch you guys later.